Hola amigos, soy Víctor Sainz, de Víctor Barcelona. And today we start my next training plan, 18 weeks until San Sebastián Marathon. So, before we get right into it, uh, last week I had some some pain in my right foot. So today we start with an easy eight kilometer recovery run in my hometown. Beautiful, great place to be running. And yeah, let's see how it goes because I stopped for four days completely, no running. And last week I only did 30 kilometers in total. I was aiming for a plus 100k. So sometimes it's better to play safe than sorry. And yeah, that's what I did. So far so good. We just started, but we will see how this week goes. The plan is to build the volume 100 kilometer plus. And yeah, should be a nice way to start just enjoying these views in my hometown. So, yeah, got up in a bit. Day two, and today we have 14 kilometers in total, with six kilometers at lactate threshold. So, yeah, a bit of intensity, and let's see how it goes. So I'm doing the first 4K warm up, then 6K, and then 4K cool down. So, yeah, just trying to get the workout done before work and let's see how the, the food holds. So looking forward to it. See you in a moment. Almost four kilometers warm up done. And yeah, 200 meters until we start the 6K threshold. So let's see, lots of rabbit. I'm back in Madrid, but loving this new place. And today, testing the speed to from Soconi in these trails. So let's see how they respond. But so far, really comfy, bouncy and energy return feeling. So yeah, let's go for it. So six kilometers uh, threshold uh, done. And I'll put the stats in the screen, so I don't know pace, um, because I'm just starting. So according to the book, my threshold uh, pace should be between four minutes, four minutes, 15 seconds per kilometer. I know I'm nowhere near that in this uh, loop where there's a lot of elevation and that is steep hill, 700, 800 meters above 6%, with 100, 120 meters, 15, 16%. So there's no way I have to slow down. But what I do now is my heart rate. So threshold, it's at 163 beats per minute, and I've run below that. So workout done. Now cool down, get back home, shower and start the day in a good mood. And another plus, the Soconi speed, really good. I think the nylon plate protects the landing, feeling nothing, no pain, no discomfort on my right foot. So all good. Day two, job done. Hi, day three of my training plan. And today we have our first midweek long run. So yeah, I'm already uh, six kilometers into the run for uh, 19 kilometers in total. So yeah, it's a way of going the next step into my journey of gaining fitness and increasing the volume. So just building slowly the mileage. And the first step is to start introducing this midweek 
long run. So let's go for it. So back home after the midweek long run. 19 kilometers, 1 hour 40 minutes, so 5 minutes 17 seconds per kilometer and 150 beats per minute. So it was a bit harder than expected, but 348 meters elevation gain. So I think I still need to get used to that. It should be good for muscular endurance and resistance. And yeah, today was not easy. So I woke up earlier than usual. I have a blister on my pinky on the left uh, foot, but still woke up, got the run done, and now ready to start the day. So, see you tomorrow. Thursday, and today we have just 10k recovery. So, let's see. My legs are still feeling a bit painful to do that strength and conditioning. And uh, blister is still a pain in the bum, but let's go for it today. Very, very easy. Uh, below 141 bits per minute. So, yeah, let's go for it. Enjoy and be ready for the next one. 10 kilometers done, 57 minutes 13 seconds, so 5 minutes 43 seconds uh, per kilometer, I think. Yeah, at 139 bits per minute. So, kept it easy and steady and that should allow the legs to recover with additional blood flow from the last two days with a midweek long run and the threshold workout on Tuesday. So, yeah, ready for the next. Hi guys, so Friday morning and today we have 16 kilometers aerobic run. So, yeah, nice, easy and steady up to 155 beats per minute max and yeah, early, a bit cooler than other days, so perfect temperature to be enjoying this part of Madrid. So, sun is rising right now behind me. I'm doing today the same loop as always, but instead of doing it anti-clockwise, I'm doing it the other way around. So let's see how it goes. And sorry, I said 155 beats per minute max. It's 150, obviously. So I was hitting the, the alert in this uh, hill, 151, 152. So need to slow down. We need to watch the effort. So I'll keep it nice and steady. Nine kilometers into the run. So slightly over half the distance I, I intend to do. And yeah, in the feeling psychologically, it's better to do the loop in the other way, the other way around. Uh, it has over one kilometer of continuous elevation gain, and then I came back through that undulating terrain. And yeah, I think there are similar hills, of course, the elevation net elevation gain is the same. It's a loop. And when I look at the times, it's pretty similar. So I think I don't gain speed, but psychologically I feel better. So let's see how I finish. 16 kilometers done, one hour, 23 minutes. So five minutes, 13 seconds per kilometer average and 147 bits per minute average. The max was a bit higher than expected or intended. 157. So these hills, no matter which direction you took them, still make a dent. But mentally, I think it felt easier, although checking previous uh, runs on the same distance, similar time effort. Um, even if I go back 20, 20 odd days, I did another 16K run, and it was a bit faster and a lower effort. But I checked and the difference was it was five degrees cooler than this morning. So yeah, I think temperature also plays a, a play. 
obviously rest and all things like that. Day six of my first week of training plan and today 10k easy aerobic. So yeah, just ready for tomorrow's long run. 10 kilometers done, all 53 minutes, 52 minutes, 57 seconds at 5 minutes 17 seconds per kilometer and the effort was uh, nice and steady 142 beats per minute so yeah just what I needed uh, to be ready for tomorrow's long run See you. hi guys Sunday morning so long run day my favorite of the week today we have 27 kilometers we have got the hat we've got and water hydration with more than 160 mix and some gels so practicing the fuel nutritional hydration whilst running before the race day is very important to get the stomach used to eating and drinking whilst running so now enjoy 27k aerobic pace today and yeah, let's see you next to the run. Two short updates. First, forgot to recharge the headphones, so I just took them off. Ran out of battery. Um, second, yeah, nutrition. I need to train. Have to make a pit stop. If you know, you know. So that's why it's important not to leave it to race day to train also your gut to take carbohydrates during the run but in terms of pace and effort so far really good so yeah almost halfway done let's see how we finish now the interesting part this is the last loop in the downhill big steep ramp 15 16 percent this way and then around five, six percent, another six, seven hundred meters. So this is what makes it really hard when I do it anti-clockwise. So the last couple of days I've been doing it clockwise. There's a similar ramp which I will show you now at the end of this, but is different when you hit it after yeah, 800 meters downhill. So at the end of this, there's a curve to the left, then to the right, sorry, then to the left, and we go up again in a similar inclination. After jumping over some water. So I hope you you can appreciate that that's much shorter but this is still very steep. So there we go. No hill, jump and then up this one which is painful but not as much as the other one because you come from a downhill effort. So I think overall this direction is better. But 22.66 kilometers and I'm noticing the cardiac drift. So same effort as the first few laps but the heart rate goes up which is normal. That's why it's important in marathon, don't waste energies too soon in the first kilometers. Seven kilometers done, two hours, 13 minutes, 52 seconds. So just under five minutes per kilometer average, 458 and 150 beats per minute. So aerobic run, long run done. And yeah, the second part felt much harder than the first uh, 13 and a half k's, but uh, yeah, kept it um, at the same effort level, just the, the heart rate was 
uh, drifting as expected and the legs are now feeling quite heavy so lots of stretching I'll take some protein to recover and lots of water and a bit of uh, electrolytes uh, important in this heat and I think that's the other factor I started the run at 7 a.m. and it was okay 22 23 degrees but right now it must be already 27 so I'm soaked in sweat and I need to um, recharge all the electrolytes in the body and, and water so that's it this week really good I finished with 107 kilometers in total so it's spot on just what I intended I didn't miss any workout and now very important to recover today take it easy the rest of the day rest by the swimming pool and week one done 17 to go see you on the next one and i hope you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so share with your friends and running buddies and please leave us a comment if you have any questions feedback i'd like to hear from you so hasta la vista we enjoyed today's run